Hey, good morning. Hope you're ready to make it a great day. You know, this past weekend, I had the privilege of speaking at our Folsom campus, and a thought from the message that was shared at every campus really stuck out to me. It was this idea that new sometimes is what we equate to passion. Uh, let me explain it. Like, <laughs> When something's brand new, there's a natural passion for it. Like, let's take, uh, how about a new car, right? You get a new car, it's just the smell alone is just fresh and it smells good and you just, ugh. And then you think about, you don't wanna scratch the car. You wash it every day. You, you don't let no one come into that car with no fast food, no food, period. It's like leave by, somewhere though, and I'm telling you, scientists and great scholars cannot figure this out, but somewhere you forget all about that new passion and when you look around, it's like you blinked and opened your eyes and now your car has become a chimp cage. I mean, it's just full of French fries and they're under the seat and you can smell it and it's like, ah, and you don't know. And all of a sudden the passion that was once there is just gone. And sometimes we see this in like, I mean, I hate to say it, but how about in new marriages, right? It's like, I love you. No, 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 stop. Let me open the door for you. This is for you. you know, six months later, right? Hey, what, is your arm broken? Why don't you open the door for yourself? I'm the one driving. How about you come open the door for me? No, matter of fact, if you're married, never do that. But you know what I mean, right? Sometimes there's this, when it's brand new, it's the honeymoon phase, and it's just this beautiful thing but it begins to fade over time. You get complacent, we get used to each other, and things, one point where you might have sacrificed your entire life, you're like, yeah, you do. And even with, here's another, children. That first baby, I mean, it's got a baby mask, you know, it's, it, you're giving it natural oxygen from this, I mean, you don't wanna take it outside. If someone just starts to sweat a little bit, like, are you sweating? Do you have a fever? What kind of sickness do you get away from much? I mean, you're just protect, no one can hold my, there's so much protection. By the third kid, there's not even a photo taken of this kid. You're letting strangers watch your children. Things are new, there's this passion, but sometimes as they move forward and progress in time, it just kind of goes flat. And the idea was our faith is the same way. When we come to a real, genuine faith in Christ or become real believers following God, if the doors are open in the church, you're there. If there's a, a Bible or a new book or something, you're cracking it open. There's this fervor, this passion, like, oh, I'll tell everybody, I want everyone to know. I want to read, I want to memorize, I want to. But over time, just like those other things, sometimes it grows cold, that relationship. Sometimes it's stagnant. <laughs> and, and, and again, it's almost as if we don't, we couldn't even pinpoint when it happened. It just kind of happens. But we're encouraged in the scripture. Let me read it to you. Romans 12, 11, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor. I love this because it shows that it's not just automatic. You're not automatically just going to be like, I'm on fire for God. I'm going to church every day. I'm helping the others. I'm going to feed the homeless. Ah, da, da, da. It's not automatic. It says keep your spiritual fervor. It means stir it up. We have to do intentional things to say, God, I wanna follow you. I wanna live for you today. I wanna be in your presence. I wanna help others. And it's something you have to keep up and continually keep that zeal and that passion because it will grow cold. What's the scripture in Revelation that you fell away from your first love? Because see, God knew that they'd become over time, we just kinda of get further and ah, yeah, God's good, I'm going to church. But there was a passion when you first encountered that relationship with God. And my encouragement this morning is, Simply this, just a checkup. Where are you at? Are you on fire? Man, you're in love with your first love. God is everything. You're just, I'm going to church. If the doors are open, I'm there. Maybe you're in the middle of the road where it's like, I love God, I'm doing good, but things are kind of, or maybe you're at a place where you're like, somehow in the midst of all this, I've just kind of let the craziness of life infiltrate my mind, my heart, my life, and I'm just kind of floating around. Maybe you're not cold, but maybe just a little, just a little lukewarm. And today your encouragement would just be maybe, here I am, God. And I want to be on fire again. I want to stir up that fervor for you, my passion for you and for your name. And so I don't know where you're at, but I know this. Today can be your day right now to just say, you know what? I want to stir up that passion for God in my life, that it'd be evident in my everyday walk. Hope you can. Hope you will. Praying for you. See you soon. 